is there a discrepancy stylistically between Ellington and what you might play with, let's say, a performance with Joe Morris and Ben Stapp or any number of people, a, a more freely improvised thing? Is there, a, is there a term for that? Is there even an, a reason to distinguish genres? Or how do you think about it? There was this catchphrase in the 80s when I lived in New York that was bandied about by a lot of people, which was in the tradition. And what it meant was that people were pay, playing standards in metrical time and functional harmony. Mm -hmm. But there was also an implication that you were either in the tradition or you weren't in the tradition. And if you weren't in the tradition, then you weren't hip or your thing wasn't happening, right? I think the music is incredibly wide, reflective of where the music came from, where, what the origin point of the music was, the time that it was made, and over time. And so I think that, I like to think that it resists easy classification, which is kind of opposite of the rubric of, of what has become the jazz education engine now, mm -hmm. which sometimes traffics in, in orthodoxy and, and limits the scope of the music. I think the music essentially there's so many different, I mean we could list ten different people and there would be their sound worlds and conception would be so different the minute we would hear them, either as an instrumentalist or as a writer, you and I would know right away, okay, well, that's so-and-so and that's so-and-so. And by the way, when you asked about listening recordings, that's another thing we're looking for. That first note of Marvin Gaye, the first note of Miles Davis, the first note of Wayne Shorter, the first passage of Duke Ellington, you knew immediately whose music that was. So we're looking for that. Sure. We're hoping for that. Not just the sound of surprise, but something that signals an indi individual voice. Mm -hmm that's offering something new, understanding that everything that we call new is some sort of a reconfiguration or retwisting or reimagination of all the same set of elements that everybody's using. Sure. You know, it's like an art definition. How can you do something new when everything has been done? And yet, people do occasionally do something new. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm rambling again. I'm manic digressive and I'm getting off topic. <laughs> No, I think we're getting but I, someplace, I don't, but I, I, I don't. I don't think there's. I don't think there's a distinction between the two. I don't think it's a horse race. I don't think it's a competition, and I don't think it's about one being different or better than the other. Well, different, yes, they can be different, mm -hmm. but they're not unrelated. Sure, yeah, but is there a, is there a use in the categorization of let's say free improvisation or free music or I hate the phrase free improvisation. Sure, okay, so it's usually but, said but what would free you, improv. Then. Yeah, well, I don't. I've never. <laughs> I've never said that in I my know, life. I right? know, I know, but that's the next but, part of it. Okay, so but what would you call it, or is there something you would call it, or how do you think about it? And it may not be important. You may say. I don't think about it at all. It's the same exact thing as when I, I I know the people that I that I do that work when I'm doing the, that work with the right people are generating form in the moment. I know that they're all structuralists. I know that they all understand. You know, when improvisation is 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 a higher order, more rapid form of thinking. It's problem solving. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing that work collectively with a set of people whose literacy is deep, whether the subject is, is, is form, vertical form, horizontal form, rhythm, language, maybe they're pan-stylistic, maybe they're aware of all these different periods, then if we were going to use the word free and another word afterwards, an adjective and a noun, I would prefer something like free association mm -hmm. before I would improvisation in the sense that like having a conversation with another person. It's a better metaphor, metaphor or analogy for what we're talking about. It's in a way a better definition. So the conversation is as interesting as the two people having it, what they know, how well they listen to each other, and then how well they might move together. And I, and I think the music is analogous to that. I think where we get into trouble And it may be related to the idea that, that somehow the music business has something to do with this. Mm -hmm. Or that it might be profitable to certain people. 
there's this dar desire to label things and everything has to fit in this box or that box. And the most interesting thing for most of us doesn't neatly fit in any of the damn boxes. Mm -hmm. sure. It doesn't mean that the boxes don't exist. And oftentimes they're a convention and you might even agree that they're a convenience because they allow us to talk about certain things. Mm -hmm. But in my experience, a lot of that stuff has been more limiting than it has been liberating. Sure. And so why would I want to be involved with anything that limits my choices or freedom of movement when I can offer something that's liberating? Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying, and this is a problem I have with the use of the word free, because oftentimes when it's used by certain people, it definitely you could definitely not say that there's a rigor to their practice. You mm -hmm. could definitely not say that they're thinking about discipline when they use the word free. Sure. And it might sound corny to say it, but there's that catchphrase that people would like to quote that Sun Ross said, saying there's no freedom without discipline. We won't get into defining Sun Ra. I don't think we could. But... You know, I know for myself as an improviser, I'm interested in language, sets of language, in the building blocks of language, understood in the way that works best for me, personally, mm -hmm. and in the way that I can use it if I'm called as a sideman to work with other people, or if I'm trying to construct my own situation and my own music. 